What's up, y'all? This is Martin Bats Bradford, and you're watching the Venom Vlog with my dude, Seek. And pronounce my man's name right before I unleash some carnage on that ass. See what I did that? <laughs> you can catch me being experimented on by the Life Foundation in Venom, which opens October 5th in all U.S. theaters. Also, check out my personal film page, which is Gumball Monster 504 on YouTube. And you can catch me in Tales from the Hood Part 2, which drops October 2nd. And, and the show called The Oath Season 2. It comes on Sony Crackle. Rock with me, man. Let's go see that Venom. Because I think that bit about to be raw. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and today we're actually going to talk about promotional stuff that's coming out for this movie, including new TV spots we're going to briefly mention, but we're not going to show any footage of that. But we do have like a soccer commercial that I'm going to show some footage of, this uh, like Italian soccer commercial that has advertising Venom, which is pretty cool. And then we're also going to talk about uh, some of the new cups and popcorn holders that are going to be available at your local movie theaters on October 5th when Venom releases in U.S. theaters and anywhere else in the world where it comes out. Uh, hopefully, these will still be available in your territories as well so we'll get into that in a second but before we do I'm outside Golden Apple Comics and I bought an extra copy of Venom First Host just because as a thank you for all you guys for the support getting us over 250 episodes uh, help pushing me to get to this point it's very exciting we got 30 days left so I got some digital code giveaways to give out in the next couple episodes so today I picked up the other cover that I didn't get the first time of uh, Venom uh, First Host which is this is the Mark Bagley cover but it comes with a digital code so boom right there I'll put the digital code up first person to put that code in gets the comic so enjoy it let me know down below if you got it and if you read it and what you think of it i'd love to hear your thoughts so without further ado let's dive into today's topic hey everyone welcome back we are in my sad pad sad pad yeah i guess seek and destroy sad pad i gotta come up with some new initials Anyway, we are back here and we're gonna talk about some Venom promotion today. Uh, there's been Venom promotion out the ass. Uh, that's what I'm calling this video. <laughs> there's so much going on right now and there's a lot I haven't covered. So some of this isn't new, didn't come out today, uh, but it's just stuff that's happening. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just put it all in one video. So that's what we're gonna do today. What we're gonna start off with is this Italian soccer slash football uh, ad that's running around right now in Italy. And I saw this on YouTube uh, not too long ago. It was just like one of my recommended. And then I saw someone post it on Twitter. And I was like, oh, wow, okay, this is actually making the rounds. Uh, it still hasn't got a ton of views yet, but I just thought it was neat. And it's just them promoting. You'll have the footage, you know, hopefully playing right now. Uh, but you just kind of see the team in the locker room. And I won't show the whole video. Uh, I want you guys to check it out, so I'll put a link down below. But it's just showing uh, DeRossi and a couple other players uh, just after a game or before a game, just pumping up, getting ready to go. And they uh, all apparently have symbiotes attached to them. And they're going to go play uh, football and destroy uh, could you imagine a football field full of symbiotes just playing uh, soccer against each other? Uh, just the visual of that uh, just brings a big smile to my face. That seems like the kind of humor that uh, fits in the Venom universe in a weird way. Um, so yeah, anyway, so that was pretty cool. I was like, oh, that's great that they're doing, you know, kind of going outside the box. Like I said, Tom Hardy's kind of a, a fitness junkie. He works out a lot, and I figured they would probably do, uh, you know, target kind of people in those you know realms and kind of like reach out to sports and bodybuilding and, and you know, you know, people who train in boxing, kickboxing, uh, but I haven't seen a ton of that. This is kind of one of the first that I've seen, other, you know, other than our first video that we made of this show, which is me reacting to Tom Hardy training for the role of Venom. Uh, so that was, you know, it's been a long time since we covered something like this. I thought they would do like a men's fitness magazine and talk to him about it. Or they would, you know, do like a bodybuilding magazine and talk to him about it. And you just say how Eddie Brock's like a, a gym junkie. I thought that would be a good way to promote things outside the normal and get outside of comic book fans and, you know, YouTubers and stuff and actually reach people out there that do different things. Um, I thought that would have been a good move, but I, we didn't really see that too much. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. If you guys did see some kind of magazine like that, though, let me know because I missed it. I didn't get to see it. Um, other things I want to talk about is movie theaters. Uh, so pretty soon, and I think in other countries right now, because Venom will release October 11th in some countries and some territories around the world, and they have these pop-up standees, like these little stand-up uh, cardboard things that you can take pictures with or just take pictures of when you're at the movie theater. So I have some images here uh, from this person on Twitter, and, uh, and it looks pretty neat. There were some cool things we saw. Uh, the one with him 
you know, standing on like where it's like a cutout of him and it has venom at the bottom and there's like a car in the foreground and stuff and he's like tossing it or it's like falling over or whatever. Like that one looks really cool. Uh, the other one is just like the standard poster that we've seen with half Eddie Brock and half Venom. Um, so, you know, we've all kind of got used to that, but that other one is key. That's a new thing to see there. And I thought that looked really great. So let me know what you guys think of that. I'll put it, uh, you know, a link to that. Uh, oh, I actually have the image here, but I'll put a link to that Twitter user at least down below. So if you want to go check them out, follow them, ask them about it, you know, maybe they'll have more information about the standee than I, that we have here. But I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You probably don't have a lot of questions. It just looks cool to me. Um, so then also at movie theaters, there's going to be cups and popcorn holders, uh, you know, that a lot of times they do this in movies. I don't really go to the movies that much. You know, I think I've seen like four movies this year. I saw Black Panther and Infinity War, and I thought those were both good. And then I also saw... Um, uh, upgrade, which I thought was really great. And I saw something else and I can't remember what it was. So I don't know if that was good or not. Um, but anyway, so yeah, you know, the theater is going to have these, you know, popcorn buckets. They're going to have these uh, cups that you can buy and, uh, you know, purchase, you know, if you want to put your drink in something Venom related, if it's a collectible, I guess. Uh, I don't know if I'll get these. Like I said, I don't really go to the movies that much and movies here in uh, LA uh, can be pretty pricey. I know people use the movie pass and stuff, but, you know, I want to see Venom day one at, you know, at whatever is convenient for me. And I know sometimes there's stipulations on movie passes, so uh, especially for new people who sign up. So I might avoid that and just go and, you know, pay a ticket to the movie. And I probably won't get popcorn and drinks and stuff like that, um, you know, most likely. Uh, but if I do, I if I, you know, decide to cave, if I have the extra money and I'm just like, eh, yeah, what's, you know, what's 10 bucks on a, you know, collector's cup? Maybe I will. And uh, maybe we'll get some of that uh, Venom tea. Uh, and this is a good transition into that area too. I think Brisk, they're starting to ramp up their promotion. I think people in Texas have been seeing the two liter bottles around. I've been seeing posts. I've seen someone on eBay trying to sell some. Uh, so I am going to keep an eye out at my local grocery stores here in Los Angeles and the area I'm in and the area out near my work. And I'll kind of check them out every now and again to see if I can find a bottle of that stuff. And then we'll, you know, do a taste test or something on here since we cover everything Venom related. Uh, we haven't done a taste test of anything other than me eating cardboard uh, for a toy review sometimes. Uh, but you know, for the drink, you know, I'll check it out. Uh, I think it's like black cherry limeade or something. That just sounds delicious to me. I already love limeade uh, to pieces. Um, cherry is one of those flavors I'm kind of iffy on, especially in drinks, but uh, hopefully with the combination of limeade, it will be good. So we'll see. So yeah, we have that stuff. I mean, there's just, a, there's like a lot, like I'm covering here. Uh, Loot Crate, I saw this image on, uh, on Instagram and I'll put a link to the guy's Instagram account. He's the artist, I guess, that came up with this shirt idea that is going to be in the new Loot Crate. So if you sign up now, I think you have till the 19th of September to sign up for this. So I'll put a link down below to Loot Crate as well underneath his, uh, his link to Instagram. And he basically came up with this cool image of like the spider, you know, design kind of in Eddie's forehead or in Venom's forehead. And then you have like the mouth down here. It looks pretty neat. Uh, again, I probably won't get it. I, I used to do loot crates and halo crates and all that stuff. And I know Amazon has a crate now that's Venom related that you can, you know, pre-order now and it'll get sent to you. I think this month, maybe even, um, or maybe early October. I can't remember, but, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, you know, promotional boxes out there for Venom, uh, the two biggest ones being Loot Crate and the Amazon box. Uh, but I just wanted to give a shout out to this artist, you know, go check him out, check out his page, follow him on Instagram. Uh, looks like he worked really hard on this and he's very proud of it and I, I don't blame him. It's a cool looking shirt. So make sure you check that out and uh, show that guy some love. Tell him the Venom vlog sent you uh, if you go check out his page. Um, and then also there's a last TV spot, which we're not going to watch. I'm not going to put up any of the footage here, uh, but there is a, an extra shot because again, for spoiler reasons, I know some of you out there commented in my last TV spot, uh, reaction, you said, oh, I'm, you were like, oh, I'm glad you're not going to cover all the TV spots and show them because I'm trying to avoid them and I also want to watch your show. So that's what we're going to do. Any new TV spots, I'm not going to show the footage, but we will maybe briefly talk about it. Um, so that way I don't, you know, give away the visuals of it for you guys. Uh, but the only thing we really see here is that in the MRI, and again, spoilers, if you don't want this, it's just a real quick thing, uh, but it's, it's Eddie in the MRI room and he's freaking out with the symbiote, like, you know, uh, vibrating off of him. Uh, and you actually see the symbiote come off him and go back on him and stuff or something. You know, it's like really quick uh, where the symbiote it's like outside of his body interacting with his chest and stuff. So it looks pretty neat. Uh, so that's all, really the only shot we got. And it's called the Taken TV spot, uh, you know, because he has that line where he's like, I've been taken. So, um, yeah, like I said, Venom promotions out the ass. There's stuff everywhere. Uh, and there's probably stuff I've missed. So if there is, let me know what it is uh, down in the comments below. And we'll try to cover it in a future video. Or maybe we'll talk about it on a live stream when we play Spider-Man PS4 this weekend. Right, It's actually Wednesday night right now. So tomorrow night, Thursday night, on my Twitch channel, we will play Spider-Man. I'm very excited for it. And we can talk about everything Venom related that you want to. Please come join us over there. I'll put a link to my Twitch account down below. 
So let me know what you think of this. And also I want to offer something to you guys. If you see any cool fan art for people submitting to that Venom contest, because unfortunately I haven't had time with me writing this, uh, you know, this project I'm working on uh, and then my book and then work and everything this weekend. Like I had no time to draw. Unfortunately, it was the one thing I had to sacrifice and give up, which is fine because I'm not even the best artist, but I thought I maybe had some cool ideas for a poster, but I don't know if I would have had time to really design something that would have been awesome anyway. Uh, but I know a lot of people out there did and they put their heart and souls into their artwork. So feel free to tag me on Instagram or on Twitter at Venom Blog on Twitter or at Seek and Destroy on Instagram. The links are down below always. And you can tag me in something that you see and say, hey, Seek, talk about this on your Venom blog. Uh, and if you do that, I will find the image as long as you tag me in it. And I'll gather those images and those users that, you know, produce that artwork and we'll make a dedication episode to them and wish them luck, uh, you know, to winning the contest. So please do that. Help me spread the word on that. And if you see anything on social media, tag me in it and I'll try to gather those ones and make a video on it very soon. You know, I'll give you guys maybe a couple days or a week at the most, and then we'll, you know, hammer out that video for you and try to get the word out there on these people's hard work. So again, thank you so much for watching my show. I really do appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Let me know what you think of everything we covered here in the comments down below. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.